Growing your following is oftentimes the hardest part. Hi, I'm Chris Spurvey from chrisspurvey.com and I'm here to help you attract ideal clients to your business. This is part five in a, in a six part series now on uh, growing your personal brand. And in part one, I talked about how to identify when to start your personal brand. In part two, I talked about how to identify your ideal niche. And in part three, I talked about how to grow a following one to one. And in last week's video, I talked about how to grow your following one to many. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Steve Foran, a good friend of mine out of Nova Scotia, uh, who uh, contributed greatly in the comments uh, of that particular video, and the video link is below. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, how to scale your following many to many. And that's the ultimate destination. It's the ultimate destination where we all want to be, where we have other people out there helping us grow our community, grow our tribe. And I want to give you some ideas as to how to scale your following many to many. So the first one, I've talked about it before, and I put it into the framework of holding local, uh, holding lunches. And that could be lunches, it could be gatherings, it could be dinners, but the idea here is inviting people that you know, a couple of people you know who may not know each other, but inviting them to a lunch and asking them maybe to invite one or two of their own friends. So you end up with a gathering of five or six people and you uh, get together, you introduce uh, yourself to uh, each other and you invite people to talk about you as the host, uh, invite people to talk about their businesses, talk about what's going right in their businesses right now, and maybe what's their number one challenge at this present time. And the idea here is that you get this community feel to the lunches and people walk away. Actually, what they walk away is ambassadors for one another and you ultimately as the organizer for the lunch or gathering or whatever, the social. You can frame it up however you please. And the other thing I do when I travel, I hold these local lunches uh, in the destinations I'm traveling to. So whenever I travel, I always, have a lunch scheduled uh, so I can expand my following into other areas, into other provinces, in the states, wherever I travel. So that's uh, idea number one for the many-to-many -many strategy. The second idea is to build a platform, build a community platform. So when I go back to when I started writing my book in 2015 and launched it in 2016, I started a Facebook community and I invited people, uh, actually I invited my top 400 subscribers from my email list the people who open my emails the most, I invited them to join me in a Facebook community around the theme of my book, Growing the Sales Mindset. Uh, my book is called It's Time to Sell, Cultivating the Sales Mindset. So what I ended up having was a bunch of people join this Facebook community. I asked them if they wanted to, they could invite their own friends into the community. And for a period of time, we had a phenomenal vibration of, uh, of energy going on within the community. And what we had was people not only became ambassadors for me and my book and what I stood for, but they also became ambassadors for one, one another. The, the, lots of great relationships were formed within that community. So that's idea number two, build a platform, build a community around your cause, around what you stand for in your personal brand. The third idea I wanna share with you is you wanna grow a tribe. And a tribe is really, I mean, think, go look, research the dictionary as to what a tribe is, but ultimately a tribe is where you are, and this is using some of Seth Godin's terminology, but you are the linchpin for your tribe. And let me just tell you what I did most recently. Uh, in January, I launched my successful sales program. And as a part of the, uh, being a part of that program, uh, a part of the tuition, so to speak, uh, they also uh, become a part of a Slack group. Now what's a Slack group? A Slack, Slack is a, actually a free technology, go to slack.com dot com I think it is uh, but it's a free technology that enables you to start a platform around whatever uh, idea you have okay so yes I started a slack group all people who became a part of my successful sales program joined that slack group and we use that slack group as an opportunity to collaborate uh, you know on ideas in and around the successful sales program so we have ideas around holding each other accountable uh, we have ideas around uh, helping each other spread the word on each other's uh, brands and, and articles and different things like that. So start a Slack group. And what happens is slowly but surely it starts to percolate into 
a tribe. And so for me, the beauty of, I launched just recently the third cohort of my successful sales program, and everyone that enrolled in that program are actually people who were referred to me from the first or second people who were in the cohorts, uh, in the program. So you can see a tribe is starting to follow. So that's another many to many idea. And so I'll end this video by just saying, the thing you want to incorporate into your many-to-many -many strategy is you want to incorporate having fun. I think you'll agree we're bombarded by meetings and conference calls in our professional lives and things just really are boring. And do you want to be a part of a tribe that's boring? I don't think you do. So incorporate having fun into your many-to-many -many strategy. And in my opinion, you can't go wrong. So I hope you got value from this. Uh, Steve Foran, I really appreciate you leaving a comment in the last video, and I welcome you to um, comment below with your any ideas you have around many-to-many -many or growing out a strategy uh, to, to get your personal brand out there. And I really appreciate your time. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. I just appreciate you. And leave a comment with any question that you have. And I'll bring you part six next Sunday morning. Have a great week.